stroke volume can be increased. When a person goes from rest to exercise, there is an increase in demand for blood flow. Initially, there is an increase in heart rate, and many blood vessels vasodilate to allow for increased blood flow to the tissues. This will lead to an increase in blood entering the heart, which is known as venous return. However, if there is an increase in venous return, then there is an increasing need for space within the ventricles for this blood. As a result, the ventricles stretch to accommodate the increased volume of blood they are receiving. This stretching of the ventricles means the cardiac myocytes are also stretched, which means that they contract with an increased force. This increase in the force of contraction due to the cardiac muscle being stretched is known as the Frank-Starling mechanism. The Frank-Starling mechanism states that an increase in stretching of cardiac muscle results in an increase in force generated by the muscle. The significance of the Frank-Starling mechanism is that the increase in the force of contraction leads to an increase in stroke volume. Therefore, stretching the heart, as occurs with increases in venous return, results in a larger stroke volume than had the heart not been stretched. For example, a person at rest has a stroke volume of 75 milliliters per beat and an end diastolic volume of 110 milliliters. This results in an ejection fraction of 68%. However, during exercise, as the heart is being stretched by increases in venous return, end diastolic volume increases to 130 milliliters and stroke volume increases to 100 milliliters. This results in an ejection fraction of 77%, a 9% increase in ejection fraction from rest. Thus, due to the Frank-Starling mechanism, not only does stroke volume increase because end diastolic volume increases, but the percentage of end diastolic volume that is ejected per beat increases. Stroke volume can also be increased by signaling from the sympathetic nervous system to the heart, which increases the contractility of the heart. This increase in contractility is independent of the stretch of the heart and is the result of intracellular signaling molecules induced by the sympathetic nervous system. The ability of the heart to increase stroke volume greatly enhances the ability of the heart to meet demands for blood and oxygen as the body's demands for blood flow change. Thanks for watching our video.